to use artworks and companies. She's a restricted what they do, but it was a really good tool in our armory because, of course, we're trying our, our best to tackle obesity along with the rest of the country. And what would have been the great assistance if central government would come on board and helped us out. But I'm really pleased to say that we're all <coughs> our focus on obesity like the rest of the country, and we're going to continue the good work that they're doing and I do. So the recommendations are there within the paper and will enable us to move forward with these intentions rather than now. Okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Jeanette. Um, can I just say, I mean, it's 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 good to see the uh, intentions to commission, you know, twenty million pounds worth of, of, of funding in terms of improving the public health of rural residents. I think that's um, really welcome, um, and, and I do echo your comments about um, the, the announcement on the, on uh, obesity. But can I just say on funding? Um, one of the things I think was particularly disappointing last year was the, the in-year cut that the government made in our public health budget of just over 2.1 million. Um, you know, I, I think in-year cuts make planning, well, they, they make planning impossible uh, because you set your budget at the start of the year and you get you then get an in-year service <coughs> George Osborne announced um, last year and it just kind of throws everything completely up in the air. So, I, I hope um, that that doesn't happen again, and I think we need to, um, again, as part of our lobbying in government, um, you know, make that clear, really, uh, that it's not helpful uh, in any shape or form. But nevertheless, uh, I think this is a this is a really positive report. I think the areas that Jeanette highlighted are of important ones, and actually, these are the ones that will go a long way to uh, addressing our health inequalities um, pledge. So I think that would make a really uh, positive contribution towards uh, delivering on that one. So, uh, we can see the recommendations before us on page six that Jeanette's moved. Can, can we agree those recommendations? We agree. Okay. Thanks very much. Okay. Um, page okay, so that takes us on to agenda item six, the former Lindale School Eastern. Now, um, in George, George, George Davis's absence, I'll uh, deal with this report. So this is a report that um, is setting out the proposal, uh, having, um, having accommodated the former pupils of Lindale School at the other excellent schools in our borough. Uh, we are now obviously faced with the, the issue of the, the size of, of the Lindale School. And um, this is a report that is recommending that we declare the uh, former site of Lindale School surplus asset to operational requirements uh, and seek authority um, for its disposal. Clearly, as the report makes out, uh, makes clear, um, we will need uh, additional authority from the Secretary of State to dispose of the site and, play, and particularly the playing fields. Um, and there will have to be a statutory consultation period. Can I just say on the um, on the issue of the playing fields, uh, and it's just a slight uh, amendment to the recommendations on page 18. So, paragraph 5, uh, I'm asking just to, to turn to paragraph 5, because the, the, clearly the legislation requires that, um, us to ensure that um, capital receipts on the disposal of playing fields need to be reinvested in school, in sports facilities, recreational or educational facilities at other schools. So I think paragraph 5 needs to make it clear that any capital receipts received for the disposal of the, of the um, playing field elements of the site should be reinvested in sports, recreational or educational facilities in the borough. So I think we just need, need to make that clear in line with the, um, the, the legal requirements. But I think apart from that, the, the report is, um, is self-explanatory and I would just formally move the recommendations on page 18 with that very small amendment. Can we agree those recommendations? Agreed. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I'm not going to be of any other business, so that concludes the cabinet meeting. Can I thank everybody for their attendance? Thank you.